people are very well aware of what you did for the city of Seattle playing basketball, but now you're kind of getting into a new industry here, the marijuana industry. What made you kind of um, open up your own shop? What was kind of the, uh, the driving force behind getting into the weed business? I mean, obviously it's a very lucrative business, but to me it's just to be able to help out others. Um, and in this business here, man, we're just trying to, to spread the wealth a little bit, uh, you know, uh, teach and educate people about the, uh, the pot business. Um, myself being a minority, I'm part owner of this shop. And also we're trying to bring in my other minority, my minorities and teach them the educational tools of owning their own shops. And that's what's important to me. As I saw this business before, it was a predominantly white owned business. Yep. So what I'm trying to do is not just get blacks involved with, but people from all different kinds of colors to let them know that this is a profitable business but definitely a business that you can educate and teach people. I, I don't think it matters now, so I'll ask you, Sean, because I don't think you, can, you can't get fined at this point. Were you using marijuana back in the day when you were a player? When I played, absolutely. We smoked pot back in the day when we played. It, you know, we were responsible with it, but we definitely smoked. Um, you know, I'm not the first person to be able to say that on, yeah. on, on, on camera. I won't be the last person to say that. But I think uh, it's, it's, it's professional ways that you can go about doing this. And also, you know, for me, with arthritis and different pains of your body, this is the perfect solution. Uh, sometimes guys don't like to pop the pills. Some guys, they don't want to take those chances. Yeah. So this is a, another way of taking care of yourself professionally but doing it the right way. This topic, Sean, has been an issue. Should NBA players be allowed to smoke mm -hmm. or, or use any type of marijuana product? Uh, what do you think? And is the NBA on the wrong side of this, uh, this issue? And do they need to change? Well, I don't think the NBA is necessarily on the wrong side. But I do think guys should be able to smoke pot and everything in the NBA and the NFL and baseball simply because it's just wrong to teach people how to just push pills in their body to take away the pain. This is the best solution with creams. And if you're smoking a little herb, if that's going to help you out with your pain towers, so let it be. But it's so much uh, safer to me than going around and just uh, taking a lot of pills and uh, 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 just messing up the inside of your bodies. This is the first of four shops that we're going to do. Oh, wow. I can have five, sh I can have five shops in the state, state of Washington. So this is the first of four. We have four more that we're going to do. So this is something that we take pretty seriously that we're going to do. That's incredible. What's your timetable on that? When do you think you'll have all four? In the next two years.